Hello everybody. We are going to attempt an impossible feat. How to break the one drive only barrier in the laptop. This laptop can have only one hard drive. There is only one SATA port. It's pretty old. I always wanted two drives. One for the system, one for the data. There might be a way to cheat and install a second drive even though there is no second drive port in the laptop. Let's see how to do that. Okay. Let's start with removing the little feet. So I hope that this, yeah, this time I did not forget to turn on the microphone in the recording. All right. These are the feet because underneath there's, there are hidden screws. This screwdriver is not suitable. So let's see, this is going to be it's going to be this one. Yeah. Actually, first, we don't know. The port that gives access to the one and only hard drive and the RAM this is the CPU. Let's go. Let's try to make this quick because I have a ton of things to do today too. God willing, this works um, quickly. Hopefully, we can move on on other things today. And I have to remove the hard drive first before removing the bottom of the case because the hard drive is screwed to the main frame on top of the bottom of the case. So let's gently pull the drive out. Gently pull the cable. So it looks like the external, oh no, there's one more. The external screws are all removed, now the internal screws. Let's put these in another corner of the container.
All right. So now let's proceed. with forcing the case open Gently, gently but firmly, otherwise it's never going to come apart. Because laptop manufacturers apparently think that there's Tor trying to, to tear apart the laptop, so besides a gazillion screws, they also make it very hard with all these little flaps, plastic flaps and stuff. This is always the hardest spot, the back. It's a little nightmare, but with the right tools and those of patience, it can be opened. And this is the toughest of the toughest of toughest of the tough spot spots. Toughest of the one. Try to force it in this way a little bit. Oh, of course, because if I don't remove the screw, see guys, always, always have another eye. Double check, triple check, and quadruple check. All the screws have been removed. If I don't remove the screw, there's no way it's going to get open. And I barely slept last night, it's been two hectic weeks, most of the nights I didn't sleep enough, I'm super tired, I worked overtime, and I didn't see the screw, which is black on black. Now, how are we going to do this? You see this? This is the Wi-Fi card, which is plugged to a mini PCI Express slot. This is actually a, two, a, a second generation mini PCI Express channel 2X, which means 500 megabytes per second. It's going to be faster than SATA, than the, than the primary main drive. But this is different. This is NVMe M2, while this is... PCI Express Mini, but the, the connector is different, the size, 
but the channel the same technology so they are compatible so we're going to use an adapter and an extension because the only available spot is here the only spot where there's a little empty room so you're gonna wonder okay I'm gonna remove the Wi-Fi card then how am I gonna get on Wi-Fi and I get on Wi-Fi with this with the USB Wi-Fi card why can't I put the second drive as USB well I don't want an external drive with important data on it to dangle all the time and drives are not very reliable through the USB channel I had a lot of problems always with USB drives I want drives to be natively communicating with the CPU rather than passing through uh, PCI Express to USB bridges or SATA to USB bridges so let's get rid of these two of the Wi-Fi card removing the antennae so white and black so I'm gonna write it actually a sign where the black one goes just in case I will have to okay the black one goes there and the white one goes here these are the antennae these little cables let's put these here and let's pass these underneath here and then we can actually move these besides here actually I'm going to do something different no it's okay it can stay here oh, okay now it's secured all right let's try this adapter this is what should do the trick mini PCI Express to PCI Express that is NVMe M2 adapter but if I put this here there isn't going to be any room to place this here so I'm going to use the extension cable the extension ribbon cable actually all right very well this is the longest one This comes with the medium one, then there is also a shorter one inside. Yes, but that's too short. We're going to be able to use that. Perfect. So,
I am going to have to break these because this is adaptable to the two sizes. This is medium and long sides while this computer only has the short the medium size so I am going to have to break it we have to break it but I don't want to ruin I don't want to ruin mm. interesting I'm already risking the integrity of the cable by doing this. There it is, it didn't even touch the cable. But now, because it might be a little scratchy, we are going to put some insulating tape actually it's too long should provide cushion and protect the ribbon cable from the scratchy surface of that thing. Now, here's the interesting part. Let's put this here. Then we need to have, we have, to, we are going to have to screw it there. Although, it's not safe to screw because there's the ribbon. So these guys came with this cable. But without any... I don't want to force it. I'm going to have to try to screw it by moving it aside gently like this. Oh gosh, the screw ended up in the only place it shouldn't have ended up. In the GPU fan. Okay, let's try again. Okay, and then let's screw it. Done. 
Not that it is in. I can try to bend it like this, but I don't want to bend it too sharply. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a a rounded cushion, like a rounded little tube. I don't need to build it. I can use this. It feels even better. To smoothen the situation there. So that it's going to have to be this long. So this is going to have to go here like this. So this is going. Okay, so let's put some double sided scotch tape around this cushion so that it can be safely glued to the thin ribbon cable and it won't move around but looks like it's it's doing the rascal here. I'm going to do it longitudinally. Sticky and rounded and soft. Now, before I do that, let's see. This is going to have to go here. And this will go here like this, and this will go here like this. Okay. So. Captain tape. Captain tape. To see, see uh, it's, it's not holding. So as you can see. to put this to seal it but 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 I want to bend it a little bit so that it's easy removable in case it's needed seal this is going here. This is the, uh, the the extension. Okay. 
now we need to put the actual drive, the SSD, in the slot of the adapter from Mini PCI Express to M2 and VME, and then the screw here. So for the screw, if this one suffice, we're going to use a, a, a nylon trick. Let's see. Are you sufficient? Yes or no? No, you are not. Then we are going to use this. Thankfully, there is Amazon. Nylon bolt and nut. The bolt and the nut. Now, to be safer, we will do it in this way, make it tight, tighten it a little stronger. All right, it's done. Now, we put the, com the adapter from Mini PCI Express to M2 and VME to the extension. Then we need to screw them so that they stay in place. And here is where the screws are going to help because there is the other part underneath. Where to screw the screw. One. Two. Now what I'm going to do is to help you see what's going actually what's actually going on here. So extension adapter drive. The two screws have screwed the adapter to the extension, to the little board of the extension cable. But I'm going to add two more screws there, but there is, see, here, here we've got the thing in which the screw screwed. Here, no, it's empty. So we're going to use two more nuts and bolts, the same that I've used here. Just the right length. And here it is. Oh, it's not actually passing. But maybe, 
if I screw it, oh, it's not passing through. Then we need thinner ones. I might have them. Too thick, too thick. Awesome. Too long, but let's see what happens. I just want to see if it can pass through or not. Yes, it can pass through, but it's too long. Because if I put it, So then this is going to go like this, no, and this is going to prevent the laptop case from being closed. So I'm going to, have to remove it. Two will suffice, two will be enough. And then we have to put the actual drive somewhere else. So ideally it should have gone somewhere else, but there isn't enough room somewhere like here. But the laptop case touches it, so there isn't enough room. So and neither here, neither there's here. Oh, there's this here. I'm going to have to remove this these two plastic parts here All right this is going to be tough yeah, because there's nowhere else where to put it so See if I can do it slightly differently. No, there's no way else where to put them. These create too much thickness and I have to remove them. Now the problem is how? Let's try with this. I'm gonna have to sit for this. Guys, be very careful. Be very careful when you use these because these can cut everything. It will chop your skin like butter. Indeed, it cut it right through it. Cut right through it immediately. Wow. So never leave, leave your fingers in front of its path. Ever.
see, see what's going on. Yeah, it's cutting through that thing. I have to be extremely careful because I don't want to hit the battery. So I'm going to leave the camera there and use better control. Yeah. Now that is cut. Let's, let's soften it a little bit. with this insulating tape this makes it easily removable in the future by bending it a little bit and then one and another third layer on it a little longer so it will anchor to it farther area of the base and hold the two underneath my all right so let's go gently again oh you know what let's put a little more captain tape captain tape is very resistant to heat So it's great for direct contact with electronics. Let's see. Oh, now it rests on a nice and soft surface. But let's soften the battery edge to see it's pretty sharp not too much not completely but still i don't like these to especially this corner to push on this thin ribbon cable chronically so let's cushion it a little bit with two layers of insulating tape one No, that's too short. One. And two. and and to make it even thicker right here on the little corner i'm going to do this i'm going to put this inside of the actual tape no, that's too short again. Okay, let's make it much longer, so... 
let's do the little bending and these to make it even thicker than this all right Now these can rest on a nice and soft surface, while these can rest here. But I'm afraid that won't be enough. I'm afraid I have to cut more here. I have see all these these has to these have to all go these have to become has to become flat let me see if I can leave at least one line yes I can leave the left line which will be like a, a support a pillar for the pressure and let's dig in let's see if I can keep the other one to no on this side it has to go it has to go okay let's do this This is going to be tough. Very. Start from here. No way, this is too much. Ah, no. Seems like it's almost cooperating. The difficult part is to chop there without touching here. Unless I can use the drill with the little adapter and the rotating saw it might be simpler actually let's try Gently place this here. Mm-hmm. 
Let's try. It's worth a try, at least. You'll see what I intend to do. Tend to use here these for the drill. But now, how am I going to snap these into this? I cannot, I simply cannot. I have no adapter for this. Get this. See if we can do it. Looks like we hmm. can go from there. Yes, yes, once there starts to be more room, it becomes easier. Don't tell me that the battery is down. Please don't tell me that the battery is dying, <laughs> the battery of the drill.
Now we just need to cut these, cut these. Yes. It's tiring. Modify. Guys, do you think this is going to avoid the warranty? <laughs> it's not it's not in the warranty anymore. It's expired a long time ago. Don't worry. And it's done. Just a little retouching, refining. Okay. Now the boring part will be to dust it. So to dust it, I'm going to have to momentarily remove all that set of extension and adapter because I don't want to carry them around, they're thin and I'm going to use a brush Let's see what happens.
First of all, let's put these screws back here. Let's try to restore some order here. Screw back here. Include as it is posed to the mess. No, no, it's gently, very gently. Unscrew this again. And remove it. Very kindly and gently. Now, let's take our brush. Our plastic brush. And let's do to clean this up. Hello. Computer is clean, but before closing, before putting things back. I want to check if any dirt ended up under the battery. Therefore, um, to three. Somebody like you, huh? I said it. You're talking. I'm re I'm recording. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh no, I said there's some some somebody. Oh no, it's all like that. So, so, yeah, I sold it. You sold it? Yeah. Oh, how much is it? Uh, it oh, yeah. that's three thousand. Yeah. Oh, that's three hundred. 
Ya. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and Facebook and oh, Auto Trader. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, there is no dirt under the battery. That's good. That's encouraging. It means that the junctures here are very tight and nice. Okay. It's good news. Sorry, guys. I'm thirsty. Let's screw the battery back. Hmm. Before I screw the battery back, I'd like to soften the edges of the cut plastic because now that it's sharp in some spots. So let's do this. Let's put the battery safely away. The battery is not swollen. And let's soften them a little bit. immediately softens. You have to be very careful because this melts soon. As soon as you touch it. You don't want to burn the computer. Actually proper English would be I don't want to set the computer on fire. Mm, this is looks like the only two sharp parts left. All right. Now can put this back for the battery first. Now, hopefully, there will be enough room for the drive and the adapter and the extension and the board of the extension ribbon. This is longer, so we're going to put this here. So this makes things even softer.
Maybe a little shorter because there's the screw there. Oh, sorry guy guys my back hurts I need to sit oh this is sharp here I need just very super quickly but to protect the battery I'm gonna put this okay yes it's not sharp anymore shorter and then one longer piece on top of the four two actually No, this is too short. This bent bent badly. <sighs> All right, now let's go back. Here. Now we can install, we can put these things back, which are the main objective of the project. Now that we have predisposed the room for that. This can go here, but as you can see, this is going to be in touch with the heat sink of the GPU. So let's protect it from heat. Let's insu insulate it a little bit with two pieces of Captain tape. Okay, one should be enough. Ah, oh, now this can rest very well here. Now let's see. Hmm, guys, I'm afraid there isn't gonna be any room. Even after all those modifications, there isn't going to be enough room 
to close the laptop actually mm, that's the crude truth um Actually, hmm, there might be actually, but I have to read of this too. Because this is gonna cut that. Let's see. These are truly identical. Mm. Let's see. First of all, I'm going to have to secure these. Oh, what if? What? What if? What if? No, because there's a screw there. But, but, if I don't put that screw, might actually work. No, because there are those parts. Let's say put this here. Let's say put this here. Like this. Let's try it. Let's put normal tape just to just to secure it for a moment. And let's try this. Then, if that's the case, I'm gonna have to shield that. Okay. Hmm. Guys, I think this might actually work. No. There is still this to remove. I'm gonna have to get rid of these two. Where did I put the... I think it's safer to burn them instead of them. Instead of cutting. It's faster, they're softer. Right. 
Oh, but this isn't going to make it. The, no, there isn't enough room. There is not enough room. Oh, this is hot. First of all, let's try if the computer sees the actual drive. Otherwise, all this is pointless. Wi-Fi card, oh, no, there's that, okay, Wi-Fi is not absolutely necessary now. No, it's not, it's necessary because it needs to install the driver. For the drive. RAM disk. So far, nothing. Administrative tools, computer management. Disk management. Haha! -ha! You must initialize a disk. It sees the disk, guys. There it is, 500 gigabytes unallocated. New simple volume. Letter D. NTFS data. Perform a quick format and we are formatting the drive. Formatting. The format did not complete successfully. Ah, that's not a good sign. Data. The format did not complete successfully. Now let's try to reinstall the Wi Fi driver.
device manager network adapter TP-Link wireless USB adapter okay so we're going to need to install the drivers but to install the drivers we need the drivers that came with it we need the DVD drive. We put the DVD drive, we need the USB, blah blah blah. TP link. Then out to run. Initializing. Yes, it sees the Western Digital Drive. Why is it, isn't it formatting it properly? Format. Windows was unable to complete the formatting. Driver installed. Now you can com connect your computer to a Wi Fi network. There's caps lock.
connected okay we are connected to the internet now we need to shut down the computer and see what's going on with the new drive I think it's unplugged certain point to have to try it without the extension because everything is plugged so obviously something is disturbing it so I'm going to have to try it without the extension at least. So to do that Let's leave this here for now. And let's do this in this way. I didn't want to do it, but I'm going to have to shorten the board. Okay, so this is the extension which we are getting rid of. I'm going to try directly the this. To do that, I need to break it. To break it, I have to do in a better way. Let's see, do this, let's try. Yeah, because it's not gonna. Well, but, but, before breaking it, wait a moment. It still goes into the contacts. That has to be done. Too bad.
shield this to make it softer where I cut the mid-size board like I did before and then I'm going to have to punch two holes for the screws it's not a problem Now let's put it. Let's try directly without any extension and let's narrow down the problem. these just momentarily temporarily with normal tape just so it doesn't move I won't even touch F2 and F10 button, why didn't it go in the setup? Format drive. Oh, format complete. This time it formatted, okay. Thank God. Okay, the problem was the extension cable. So let's run a speed test. 
Crystal District Mark. Come on, man, where are you? Disk mark 64. Yes. Disk mark 32. Nothing. It's not opening crystal disk mark. Okay. There are three of those. Took a while, but it opened it. Disk mark sixty four. Yes. Okay, new version of Magician is available. Alright, while it takes forever to open crystal disk mark. Let's go to an older version. Let's see. See. See software Sandra. What does it say about this drive? Don't care. Buses and devices. Storage devices, physical disks. Oh, it opened. All right, let's select drive D. And let's do a test. 512 megabytes, three runs, test all. Wow, 440 megabyte per second read speed top read speed now it's decreasing because it's testing with smaller and smaller files so that that's natural but still it's great 365 megabits per second Two hundred and two, and let's see the sequential. Ah, and we're running on battery, so it's probably even slowered down. 
okay it's time to shut down the software that is thirty one wow that's fantastic four or five megabytes per second write speed wow 360 write speed Forty nine, fantastic. We send the data. I don't have a space in the laptop to hold it because there was a corner I could reach it by attaching the mini PCI Express extension ribbon first but if I attach the extension The computer sees the drive, creates the partition, but fails to format it, and after a while it disappears. It doesn't even see the drive anymore. Without the extension ribbon, it formats the drive and it works. But it, but the converter is not long enough to reach the empty spot in the corner. Yes, it's a second generation X2 PCI Express slot, roughly 500 megabytes per second.
so I have to find a way to make the extension ribbon work or if I could know how to open these black connectors and replace the bare ribbon This is the extension Okay, let's try something. Let's try something. Since it's not working with these, let's try to simply... No, it's not... It's, it doesn't work like that. doesn't work like that unless I have to open it it doesn't come out Oh, it's actually coming out. Nope. No, it's not. All right, luckily, I have a plan B, which is much more complicated and convoluted. But when you got no alternatives, you got no alternatives. What can you do? Completely modify the bottom 
of the laptop to make more room in the laptop. So that these can go out like this. Actually, so that these can stay like this. And that's it. Wow, thanks to my boss. Thanks to my boss, that's it. This flips and this comes out. All right, now things are changing. We, I don't need these anymore. I can just replace these. Oh no. No, 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 because, because this is different. This is different. See, the conversion happens here, not here. So the ribbon is already converted from Mini PCI Express to M2 PCI Express NVMe. So I cannot adapt this, but I could try the other ribbon. 
in this so if for example if for example so uh -huh. and uh-huh and then we take the short guy then we take the short guy and here okay now let's see if we can do it let's see if we can do this maybe with the shorter ribbon it works So if this goes here, I know that it's, in this case it's too short, so there wouldn't be room in any way, there wouldn't be, but worth to try, now let's assume, now what, let's try again one more time with that with the original one Try again one more time with these, hoping that we are going to be more lucky, but in this case I'm going to have to do this. now that's cut so I cannot put it anymore oh but that was glued okay so I'm gonna have to use a different ah, I cannot fix this to this anymore because it wasn't necessary to cut this, but now this cannot be put back there unless unless
I do this. I saw two of these. All right, I'm gonna have to saw. To what length? I have to remove three millimeters. So basically, yes. One is cut. Let's see if it's sufficient. All right, so first let's drill holes better here so that the things can pass better okay now we're going to have to do it in this way One goes inside, then there's the, the little nut, that goes here. Okay, then there's this. It's not possible, the card has to go first.
then this then this this and then it can be screwed oh that's it but it sticks it doesn't need the the actual thing on the other side, then this should be suffice. This should suffice. Let's take another nut, let's screw these, in place, We gotta remove this tape because it gets in the way. This black tape. There is no ribbon there, so there is no risk. There is no need for the tape to to stay there. Only this is required, this is not. Okay, ah, out of the way. Out of the way. Ah, now, now we start to reason. This And this. Very well. Uh, 
No, I'll... although this has to go. Now another one. The other side. Naturally, naturally, okay, let's put it in and let's start screwing it. Very well. very well now let's put this stuff back let's put this back where it should belong let's try to stabilize it and then let's test the computer to stabilize it like this Let's see what happens now. Huh. Let's see. Let's put the drive back. The main drive. And let's see what happens now. Drives. Properties. 
seems like it works so far. Portable apps. Crystal Disk Mark 8.0.1 Disk Mark 64 Yes, Allow Let's wait that it opens Yes, it opened. Here you are. Let's make it smaller so it's faster. Faster test. It seems that the drive might have problems. With the extension, it's not doing the test. Unless Crystal Disk Mark doesn't run first all the read tests for some reasons now and then shows the results and then all the right ones. Let's hope. If they all appear and then it goes. Oh, zero megabytes per second. Yeah. So there's basically no with the ribbon doesn't work. So let's shut down the computer. Let's shut down and let's think. The only viable alternative is plan B. But plan B is horribly convoluted and complicated. It involves modifying the case of the computer so that to do that with the sunlight. The experiment is partially worked, partially didn't. Luckily, thank God, I have a duplicate. So I 
Okay. So I'm gonna cut this open. Yes, I can do it right now with this. Ah, this is the poor quality plastic. Look how bendable it is. Ah, it even broke the paper cutter. I'm gonna have to use a different tool. Try with this.
All right. Let's call it a night. This is a second project in the project. Modify the modify the actual case of the computer. Alright guys, so, so the project is not finished, we saw that with the extension the drive doesn't work, without the extension, only with the adapter directly hooked here, it works. So now what's left to do is to modify the spare bottom of the case of the computer. So that little window I opened, so that th this goes directly here, it comes out of there, comes out, bends back, and then I have to somehow shield from outside the bottom of the case and then I have to raise the four feet of the case so that it doesn't touch on the center and it's not stable. But that will be <laughs> an entire another project. Thank you for watching for your patience. Sorry for the poor quality of my videos and um, have a good night.